This is Caesar 4.33, 1 and 2. And this is a nice little digression that Caesar gives on the topic of chariot warfare. So we don't see many of these in Caesar, but pretty interesting here, and it's useful if you ever get stuck in traffic on the Schuylkill Expressway as well. So this is one of those existential verb to be's here. This is, this is the manner for fighting from chariots. I think this is dative, like a dative of purpose, although some people think it's genitive. The type of battle is this from chariots. Uh, there, there's the word for chariots there, ascetis. Okay, so you could almost put it like a colon there and, and the description follows. First of all, parequitant, there's your verb. They, it's uh, subjects in the verb there, and the they refers back to the chariot drivers. Kind of a vague subject there, a uh, little bit loosely connected for Caesar. First, they ride around, per omnes partes, in every direction. Pars partes, that's a tricky word, can mean part, can mean direction. You never know which to use. And they hurl direct objects, tella. Weapons. Okay. Looks good. That sounds terrifying. Oh, and in fact, he does describe it as terrifying here. And here's your verb here, perturbant. Again, yeah, this is just they. And the verb there. Not sure who they is, but it's the chariot drivers for sure. They throw into confusion. They disturb. They perturb. And your direct object is here, D.O., the ordinates, the battle lines. So, you know, in warfare, you really want to maintain your battle lines. Crucial. And if somebody starts to break your battle lines, you can, you know, a really ugly route can ensue because suddenly you're attacking the enemy from all sides. So they throw into confusion the battle lines. Um, and here are some ablatives. Oop, what am I doing there? I don't know what I'm trying to spell. Here we go. Ablative here and ablative here. These are two ablatives of means. Uh -huh. This is how they do it. They uh, throw into confusion the battle lines by means of the terror itself of the horses and by means of the roar of the wheels of the chariot. So what Caesar's saying is that the chariots themselves are so scary that, you know, that generally wins the battle right there. And I like to translate this ipso. You can do this as just. By just the terror of the horses and the roar of the wheels. They break their lines. Yeah. Ipso usually just means itself, but you can use just there. That's a nice yeah. emphasis on the on the, the terrore and the strepitu. And cum. Now, this can mean when, since. I'm going to actually translate this once. Ooh, don't usually do that. Once they have insinuated themselves, here's your D.O. That's the reflexive pronoun, themselves referring to the subject of the verb. That's what the reflexive always does. It's a sui sibi se se. It's, ma it's a masculine and feminine, and it's singular and plural, because it just reflects like a mirror. When they have insinuated themselves among the squadrons of the cavalry, the siliunt, they, again, they, jump down from their chariots and they do battle on foot. So there you go. Next time you get stuck in traffic on the expressway, jump down from your chariot and do battle on foot.